Now whilst VNC works really well under XP, it's not so hot under Vista unless you've got the add-ons installed. So Let's to go ahead, okay, install those options. Okay, we want it registered as a system service, so it starts. We want it to start the service, we don't want any desktop icons. Next, install. Now hopefully, that's it. It downloads the additional Vista components, extracts them, and then it'll complete an installation. registers the service there's any firewall rules it configures those so next and then finish okay now the next screen you see is this default one and we're not interested in this one so we just cancel that away just get rid of it we don't care how we do it there you go warning running VNC without a password is a dangerous security risk yeah, we know that. Okay, so what we want to do now is go back to the start menu, all programs, and we want to find Ultra VNC in the list. There's a program group for it. And you see here, edit settings. Click on edit settings. Now these are the important settings that are going to apply. So for security, we tick require MS logon. We support new MS logon and we configure MS logon groups. Here we are. We go to add and we're adding users from the domain. So we add the administrator on there and in addition there is a VNC group. We add that in as well. Excellent. By default they get full control. Click on OK. Don't need to put anything in the password box. If we go to connections, screen capture, just checking the settings, remove arrow, excellent, remove wallpaper, no login options, tick disable tray icon, at which point click OK. And then you can restart your client. Once you've completed the restart, you can then use the Ultra VNC viewer to connect to the remote machine and just confirm that VNC is configured correctly.